Do you all have any updates on how the investigation has been going? What I do know is that the investigation is independent. You know, we, we set this up as an independent investigation purposefully at the very beginning so that the, uh, and we work through the Attorney General and so that the law firm that's uh, contact, uh, in contact with the survivors and with other people who have information has been doing that as an independent investigation. They then, we have, have received updates from them from time to time, mainly on process, where, where we are, how much has happened, et cetera. Those have been things that we've read at the board meetings uh, 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 generally. And uh, we are as cooperative as we can be, but we're in general, we're, we're as cooperative as we can be to some places where they've gotten information uh, from uh, 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 university, but other places, most of the information is coming from their witnesses and we are supporting them as much as possible and then we will get a report from them at the end. We are, are doing everything we can to, to keep it, to make it entirely independent. We want, that's an important aspect of this. Uh, we hope soon. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, so, so I note that, uh, just to clarify um, too, uh, at the last full board of trustee meeting, um, yes. uh, Provost McPheron read off a, uh, an, an update on it and said that the investigation is nearing its completion. Yes. Um, is there like any sort of time frame on that yet? Or? Yes, it, the, it nearing its completion is what we were told. Uh, that to us means um, weeks to, uh, or so is what I would expect. Is that six, eight weeks or something like that? We've had that expectation in the past, and then it's gone on a little longer. So we we don't we're not in control of that, but our we believe that it's uh, getting close to the end, and we hope that there uh, that's the sooner the better for us. So so I know that in the um, I believe it was at the November board meetings that. Um, uh, the one of the updates that came in was that it would be uh, concluded by the end of the fall semester, and obviously it's it's moved past that. Yes. Um, is it? Do you find it concerning that it's continued on this long, or just what are your thoughts on the fact yeah. that it's extended beyond that time period? And I said the better for us. I meant better from our point of view. We'd love to have it completed, and but it also has to be thorough and appropriate. And so we do everything we can to support them in getting to a completed report without interfering in the process. Did they provide any reason for why it's been uh, extended for so much longer beyond that? Yeah, you know, not a, not specifically, but generally I think the fact that these um, incidents were 20, 30, 40 years ago. Mm -hmm. And so it's it's not an easy investigation uh, to uh, conduct. The, the principal uh, perpetrator has, is deceased. Many other people who are material to this are, are deceased, and it's in many, in some cases, taken them longer than they thought to get information that they believed was someplace, but they had to work uh, work to get it. And so I've been encouraging them since the fall, really, and they're saying, you know, we're getting closer, we're getting closer. So I'm uh, looking forward to them being uh, being finished. Ohio State had announced earlier that they'd be providing counseling for accusers or for like the um, survivors, survivors yes. of uh, the Strauss investigation. Do you believe that uh, there's anything more the university can be doing to help the survivors at the time or do you think that there's, this is about all that we can offer? Well, that, that's part of, the, the, those are the people who you're speaking to, I think in many cases are involved in lawsuits. So I couldn't really comment on what's gonna happen with the lawsuits. I mean, that's lawsuits are when people have differences of opinion. But, we wanted to do was, as you know from the statement, we um, uh, had heard from uh, these alumni and others and wanted to provide services that are essentially what we would provide for you today and at least have that be something that we were doing because we didn't, while the other issues are being resolved, we didn't want there to be people who we might be able to reach out to and support who are not getting support while other things are, are being uh, decided. So uh, it was just something that we thought was the appropriate thing to do and um, I'm pleased to be able to, do it, to offer that support for our alumni as we would support our students if, they, if you came to us with a similar complaint today. And now how was, um, how was the idea for providing counseling um, uh, sort of decided? Was there a group of people who sort of came together and figured out that this would probably be the best solution or um, was it like who was, came up with the idea, I guess? Yeah, it, uh, um, so there were discussions broadly about things that we might do to be able to support our alumni. And this was one of the ideas that we thought was an appropriate thing to do. And we looked at, at, at a mechanism for doing it so that the uh, survivors would be protected. So there's a, a third party to whom they, that they contact 
they don't have to contact us, they don't have to reveal their identities in any way. They contact a third party, they arrange the support, uh, and then we take care of the cost of it. Gotcha. And um, so now you've mentioned that the investigation is nearing its conclusion. Um, an investigation of this magnitude, yes. this size to the university, um, obviously has, has been, you know, it's, there's, a, there's sort of a lot of different things that go into moving on after that. What sort of talks have, have gone on at, at the university about like what happens after the investigation is concluded? Well, we first I'll say we, the investigation will be concluded and that will give us information and then that will help to uh, help guide us to what we would do next. Uh, we thought broadly about things that you know we, we might think about. So counseling was one of the things that we uh, believe would be supportive for the offer of counseling would be very important for uh, people out there who uh, 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 would like it. So we wanted uh, to do that. We'll wait until the, the investigate till we see what the investigation holds before we can move much beyond that. But we continue talking and thinking, but we don't want to get too far ahead of ourselves because the, the reason for the investigation is to help, help us to learn what happened.